Gravity is quantized in the sense that quarks must be in a particular position as electromagnetic field intensity pulses from other masses arrive in order for attraction to occur. The quantized distance is the circumference of the quark cycle. If off timing, a body would slip at most this far before timing is restored. Matter reaching a new gravitational field would have a small slack distance, but gravity would pull once the quarks have the right timing. The slack distance is a random fraction of the quantized distance and the tiny slippage that occurs as the quarks in separate bodies become correctly timed is generally undetectable. Throughout all galaxies, there is always one common gravitational timing. All bodies fall in line with the prevailing timing for mutual attraction. Mass at the outer edges of any galaxy stays timed to the galaxy center because the local timing is strongest. The local signal is stronger. However, between galaxies, the situation is not the same. Each galaxy is surrounded by the gravitational timing signals of 10 or more other galaxies. At the same time, each galaxy has its own huge timing momentum. Galaxies do not slip towards any other galaxy's particular timing direction because they are pulled to different timing on all sides and because their momentum is so large. Therefore, the universe is expanding and accelerating and galaxies appear to spin too fast to hold together. Thank you.